Hey. Hi. Hey. It's the Adventures of Barb and Christine. <coughs> and Phil. Uh, season 2, episode 14. And we are uh, at the Sea Home Hill Arboretum. Arboretum, which I think is Latin for a tree place. <laughs> Not sure what an edum is, but uh, maybe we'll look it up. Uh, yeah, it's a little two mile loopy loopy hike um, with a cool lookout tower in the middle. So we'll uh, see what that looks like if we make it there. Um, looks like we got some folks doing some rock climbing over there. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. That's pretty cool. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> we'll uh, slow it down a little bit. I'm <laughs> like, wait. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so uh, yeah, two week, uh, two weeks since the last vlog. Um, what's been shaken? I think we had uh, had some audio issues last weekend, so yeah, didn't want to fight against that. Um, but uh, had some warm temperatures a couple couple Mondays ago. I think uh, I got ninety one degrees on my in the car on my car thermometer, which I, th I think is inflated for the blacktop or whatever. But it's impressive looking number. So well for us. <laughs> yeah. Oh sure. Um, what else? What's been going on in uh, in your world? Um, let's see. Oh, a couple. Of, oh, was it yesterday? Yeah, just yesterday. Uh, um, looking out the uh, windows from our li living room, uh, I saw a couple of deer across the street. There's like a next to the apartment complex. There, there's a, like a water retention pond or something some sort of reservoir and a little green space yeah it's a little open clearing and then there are two deer and I <laughs> I uh, haphazardly grabbed Farb's uh, Fuji camera and took a lot of bad pictures and uh, a couple of them turned out all right yeah well it's hard there's like a tree in the way <laughs> I was having a moment where I was like, oh, I wish I could chop down the tree, but, um, don't say that in an arboretum. Yeah, I know. Uh, so that was really cool. I'm like, oh, deer. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, We've, uh, <laughs> this hill is more than I was expecting. This hill's kicking our butts. Well, it's kicking my butt. Uh, <laughs> They said the whole thing was like 320 feet elevation gain. I feel like we've already done that. Yeah, what the heck? Uh, well, yeah. Speaking of exercise, uh, we've been trying to get out before work a little bit. Um, you know, I don't know if I'll ever be the run five miles before work every day guy, but squirrel. Where? Oh. Straight ahead. I see you, squirrel. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Not a huge fan of sports. Um, I've been trying to get out for a little exercise before work. Uh, I was toying with the idea of walking to work, as you may recall. Uh, but I don't like that as much. A, I don't like walking home uh, <laughs> after work. Because um, you just want to get home. Well, when I'm done, <laughs> I, I just want to be done. Yeah. Right? Plus, you know, it's just, it just seems to be stop and go and all the traffic and... Um, you know, I don't want to be all sweaty on hot days or wet on rainy days. <laughs> um, but why not take advantage of the slightly later starts and do a little jogging before work. So I think we've made it out three or four times now, yeah. maybe, maybe a little bit more. And I think that's uh, something we can build on. So that's, that's cool. Um, the most exciting thing that's happened in the last two weeks was that we took advantage of the Jack in the Box Tiny Tacos. Oh yes. Tiny Tacos. Did that a couple nights ago and uh, tried those and well i don't know what i was expecting but they tasted just like jack-in-the-box tacos but in smaller form um pro tip get the loaded tacos <laughs> the yeah. loaded tiny tacos yeah they come in two styles one uh plain and one loaded the loaded just has some lettuce and taco sauce uh, but without it you're really you're, you're just really... getting pockets of ground beef <laughs> i'm assuming it's beef uh but yeah Get yeah. the loaded ones, yeah. if you get them at all. Certainly don't have to, but uh, anyway, we're gonna keep puffing and puffing up the hill here. You don't need to listen to that. Uh, and we'll be on the lookout for some birds or anything interesting. 
uh, but certainly catch you when we get to the turnaround point. So, woo! 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 I think we walked up all of this action. Uh, tunnels there, that's closed. So we're going to make it to the observation tower. And then we'll see what the Quiet Rocks area is all about. And we'll leave the folks smoking pot in their car all alone. They can enjoy, <laughs> they can enjoy that. But let's head for the tower trail. Well, that is not a long tunnel. Really? That's... <laughs> hmm. Phil's not impressed. <laughs> Tunnel through time. I see something about Douglas Firs. Tunnel Ridge Trail. Mm. It looks pretty steep. We're headed for the tower. Tower trail, untuned trail. What do we got going on here? It's a reservoir. We are headed for the observation tower. Hey, I uh, found the tower. Wiggity diggity. <laughs> What's shaking? Hey. Bill's hey, impressed. Phil. Absolutely. I'm gonna take a shot of you from, from down there. Good job, Phil. Nice. So, uh, yeah, Bellingham Bay there, waterfront. Uh, I don't think we've been down there yet. Uh, not at least that particular part of the waterfront. Um, I think next weekend, Ace is going to come up, uh, and uh, there's a little fish and chip spot that I want to check out. So yeah. maybe we'll uh, give that one a whirl. That'll be next Sunday. Um, I can see, I think, Cherry Point off there in the distance. Let's see if I can zoom in and take a photo <laughs> Who doesn't enjoy a good oil oil refinery? Here. There it is. Um, and then over a little further out there, I think you can kind of see the Cordata place, uh, those swanky apartments that we were never really looked at, but we're thinking about briefly. Uh, I don't know. Um, not a whole lot to see up from up here, but it's kind of cool. Yeah. I'm impressed that we're the only ones up here. Well, there's a couple of kids, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, we are here. So uh, we came up this way. There's a tunnel we couldn't uh, go through, the two foot tunnel. <laughs> um, looks like we could loop around here, a couple different spots to check out. But I say let's go back down the way we came. Mm. Um, I mean, more direct, uh, but also leave something uh, new and unexplored for our next trip. Because mm. I'd like to come back here. Yeah. Uh, what say you? Yes, sounds good. Here's the Tunnel Ridge Trail. We can see what this is all about. Since there's people in front of us anyway. Um. Love is all I ever... Something alone? I don't know. Peace. Part of a swastika. Maybe. What? Uh, maybe I'm misreading it. Possibly a 4-H logo. I don't <laughs> Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Something Vargas. I don't know. Yep. Hmm. Well, there's a 
<laughs> Way too tight. No. Oh. <laughs> Teleconverter on, yeah. Will this make an interesting Aussie? Oh yeah, maybe. All right, hey. Um, cool spot. I like the little lookout tower. Not too many people. I was afraid there was gonna be a lot of folks. Yeah. You know, doing Saturday stuffs. Um, just a few folks doing Saturday stuffs. <sighs> so we're on our way back down to the car. I'll be honest with you, the whole point of getting out here was to work up an appetite for lunch. Because <laughs> we're gonna hit uh, Muto, the Japanese restaurant. And I'm gonna attempt to crush a bowl of ramen. Mm. Mm. I'm so ready for it. Um, what are your thoughts on the Arboretum? Yeah, it's nice. Um, I mean, I don't, you know, <laughs> didn't have crazy expectations except for a bunch of trees, which mm -hmm. there are plenty of. Yep. Uh, um, Arbor in abundance. Yeah, it's a nice little getaway. I, I, neither of us have really been in the sea home area, um, right up against the Western Washington University campus. So that was kind of nice to finally see. See what that's all about? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, typical uh, kind of campusy, you know, well-maintained and we preserved the landscape and, and what have you. I guess I shouldn't say typical because certainly the university I went to was right in the middle of DC with uh. <laughs> maybe four trees combined. Um, but yeah, this is what I would expect from Western Washington University. Yeah. Lovely um, spot here in Bellingham. We've never been to the campus proper. Haven't had any reason to, but maybe we'll get there one of these days, mm. months, years, who knows. Uh, but yeah, nice little nice little spot. I like the options. We could uh, skip the walk up, walk up the hill part if we just wanted to, you know, get into some trees and get into some uh, some views uh, quickly. Kind of like uh, Whatcom Falls. You know, you a little could, bit, yeah. Well, just in the, in the fact that you could just park and be there. Yeah, yeah. And you don't have to turn it into a whole big um, hike if you don't want to. But yeah. if you do want to get a mile or two or four in, um, you can do choose other options. Yeah. So, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Hey, what's next? We're going to go for lunch um, and then, you know, see where the see where the afternoon takes us. Mariners play a day game today, I think, 1 o'clock. Hmm. Um, so we'll probably catch the second half of that. Um, and then get going on weekend stuff. Um, but I think... We forgot pick from the past. Oh yeah. Yes, Christine's in charge of pick from the past. What do you got? <laughs> uh, so, what? Ten years ago, mm -hmm. uh, we did a road trip back to California and um, saw a lot of people. Um, saw the Lockhart, mm -hmm. and we saw um, Jill and Dodie down in San Diego. Yep. Uh, let's see. We saw Carrie, we saw Greg, oh, we yeah. saw Zach, we saw... Oh, yeah. uh, did we see Dennis? Mm, that might have been another might trip. Have been another trip. Yeah. I don't know, I don't I'm know. blended together. <laughs> uh, but certainly we saw Niall in uh, San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, went to a Giants game together. That was a lot of fun. I think we inspired Niall to join Twitter the next day. <laughs> At least, I don't know. Well, we'll confirm that. I don't know. Well, we've been talking about it back and forth this week on Twitter. Um, oh. The timing is just too coincidental for it not to be somehow involved. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, right, uh, you know, a couple months after our wedding, right? So, kind of, it felt like a victory lap <laughs> to me. Oh. <laughs> Look at us, you know, we moved up north, we got hitched, we're, uh -huh. we're totally, you know, adults and whatever. <laughs> and we're we're doing this grown-up thing. Yeah, I mean, you know, we made it, we're established. We are a couple, we're a unit. Here come the Hendersons. Yep. And we took a nice little victory lap around the state. Mm -hmm. I think we even got some pea soup at uh, oh. Pea Soup Anderson's. Yeah. Before, uh... The eventual trip back but mm -hmm. that was a lot of fun and of course we're going to be doing something similar here in a couple uh, couple weeks yeah won't make the whole trek to san diego and whatnot but we'll see uh we'll see the lockharts and um your family mm -hmm. we certainly saw them too on the uh on the 2011 <laughs> trip yeah. Oops. Uh, but yeah looking forward to that a lot really looking forward to that it's gonna be great to get out of the state and you know stretch our legs a little bit yeah uh, okay well we got uh, some downhill walking to do, which should be a lot easier than the uphill walking. Um, if we do see a bird, I'll, uh, I will cut for bird footage, but I'm thinking this just may be a little too, a um, little too in the city for yeah, tremendous bird sightings. Now, I mean, I heard a uh, woodpecker. Scared He's very him. shy. Yeah. Um, certainly Robin's all over the place. <laughs> uh, I've heard a couple laser birds, which again, I think are called tow towhees. Oh. Um, and uh, a couple other things. No doubt there's some amazing, you know, eagles and <laughs> emus and all kinds of stuff hiding <laughs> in the brush. 
that I'm just uh, being too clumsy to, to capture. But um, yeah, if we see a bird, we'll get it on camera. Otherwise, you'll probably see us next rolling into a noodle joint. Mm. So catch you in a little bit. Hey, far from the future here. Uh, once again, audio problems. I think it might be the receiver. Or who knows? We'll do a better job next time. But we went to Muto uh, Izakaya Ramen, whatever. Uh, ladies first. Um, here we go. Uh, highly reviewed. We were going to do this originally for Birthday Snake, but Phil's excited to, to try the, the restaurant out. Um, what do you think? Um, yeah, overall, not so great. I mean, the gyoza was pretty good. I think the gyoza may have been the highlight. Yeah. Good flavor, a little uh, on the tepid side. Um, but, uh, you know, still not, not bad to get started with. Um, I ordered a, um, what did I order? Some spicy ramen. I also ordered a spicy tuna roll. And what did you order? Um, I ordered uh, a lunch combo special. With, there it is. Uh, tempura and sushi assortment. Uh, yeah, the spicy tuna roll just didn't have much flavor, and it felt just kind of loosely constructed. It made me honestly a little nervous, but yeah. uh, spicy ramen was more spice than flavor. I also you know, inhaled a uh, pepper flake here while I was eating it, so that didn't, uh, didn't do much. Um, don't know. I'll, I'll overall, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but very unimpressed. Uh, probably like a 4 out of 10 or so, and I probably will not be back. Um, I hate to pan the joint, but Muto Ramen and Sushi, a uh, bit of a miss today. So... Anywho, we'll work on our audio issues for next time. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next week. Catch you on the flippity. Bye. Bye.